Well, in front of the government right now is a couple of options. One is the Nordic model, uh, where essentially uh, it's not a crime to uh, sell sex, but it's a crime to buy it. They would go after the Johns or the clients. And that's, uh, and that's ridiculous. That's, you don't like that's, that model? That, it's like telling somebody that you could open up a hardware store, spend all this money to open up a hardware store, but we're going to arrest every one of your client, potential clients that walk in your door. That's, that's absolutely ridiculous. The Nordic model did not work. Three years after that law was imposed, violence against sex workers went up drastically. So they accomplished nothing with that law. And what it actually did was drive a lot of these women that would continue doing this work regardless of what the government said, drove them into the underground. So they're claiming that the laws over there got a lot of the women out of the industry when in actuality it did not. It just forced them in the underground moving into the outskirts where they're not tracked, which is counterproductive because, again, they're unsafe. Nobody knows where they are. The Danish model is the other model, apparently, the government is considering in which they essentially legalize prostitution, but they also regulate it. Uh, what's your feeling about that, having the government uh, more involved in prostitution? Well, what the government should have done, they should have contacted the various sex worker organizations out there such as Maggie's and sat down with actual working girls and have a discussion with them as, as how to make their job safer. Because quite frankly uh, the government's not trusted. I mean uh, you know how can you go ahead and impose legislation that you think is going to make the job safer for workers without even consulting them? It's ridiculous. In New Zealand the workers were consulted okay and the New Zealand model was praised by the United Nations, by the World Health Organization, and by Amnesty International. So what do you believe the government would hear if they talked to uh, sex trade workers in this country, uh, to people such as uh, yourself? Uh, what would the recommendation be? Those who want to do the job, let them do the job safely. Give them the, the ammunition and the tools to do the job safely and then go after the criminal element double barrel. Canadians Talk, a national conversation on prostitution is coming up Monday, March 31st, 7 Eastern, 4 o'clock Pacific on your local Chorus radio station. I'm Jeff MacArthur and I look forward to speaking to you then.